Hello everyone, Ragguy Slytherin here with yet another Harry Potter product review. Today we have the Xmas Harry Potter ornaments. Now, this is the first series of ornaments and it comes with Harry, Ron, Hermione, Hagrid, Quidditch Harry. And all three, I mean, sorry, all five of them are the same exact sculpts from the Prisoner of Azkaban figures that they released. Um, these here are the Goblet of Fire packages. They come in a clamshell inside of this box. Series 2 featured a lot of Harry's, Ron and Hermione. All from Goblet of Fire. But these just have the packaging and our re releases. I actually found these at Target back in the day. And by Xmas, the same company that makes the uh, Village Collection, Hogwarts, Castle, Hagrid's Hut, and um, Quidditch Pitch. Okay, now the first ornament is Quidditch Harry. He looks really good from the side. Looks a little chubby. Potter 7 on the back. Broom's a bit thick. The eyes are, uh... <laughs> well, Harry comes from a different planet, evidently. Um, the hair is supposed to be sculpted like he's flying. The paint job doesn't do it justice. Of course, Warner Brothers always has to have the logo on something down there. Overall, I would give this ornament side view, it gets a 6 out of 10, front view, it gets a 3 out of 10, but I do like the colors on it. They also did a fairly good job on the uh, um, Quidditch armor. Okay, off to the second one is Hagrid, and uh, he's rather tan, uh, he's been giving, given a, um, I would say, Latino paint job, <laughs> but uh, the hair's a bit gray, but I do like the outfit. He's wearing what he wears in Prisoner of Azkaban. Overall, I'd give this one a 5 out of 10. The next one is Hermione Granger. Hermione is a closed form sculpt, except down here when she has a little hole between her feet. Um, She's holding a stack of four books. The likeness isn't really there, but you know it's Hermione. You see books in a Gryffindor robe, you know it's Hermione. It's the trademark at the bottom. These are made out of resin, you can tell by the bottom mold marks. And I'd give Hermione... I'd give her a 5 out of 10. Next up is Ron, my personal favorite out of this group. Um, they tried to give him the Gryffindor crest, although it was a bit of a fail. <clears throat> it has a bit of like a dark red paint, but you can't really tell that's Gryffindor crest. However, on the robes, you can tell that they are Gryffindor robes. Um, he's been given his wand, uh, which is actually made out of rubber, which is good because if these fall, then you never know. You never know if you've got a cat climbing into a tree, <laughs> ornaments may fall. Uh, there's the logo on the bottom. Um, it's a pretty solid ornament. I give this one a 6 out of 10. It's These are very small, so, you know, it's forgivable on the likenesses, but um, he's a decent ornament. And then finally we have Harry here, and he comes with Hedwig delivering a parcel, and he has a textured uh, jacket, unlike Ron, and they've given him the Gryffindor crest but painted it wrong as well. Um, the top of the glasses has flesh paint, sadly, where they tried to paint the face. Um, overall, I'd probably give Harry a 5 out of 10. Hedwig actually comes made out of, like, a rubber, so she won't be broken. Overall, it's not a bad set to own, but you can get a good deal on these on eBay. Um, thanks for watching my video guys, uh, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe, and if there's anything in particular you want to see me review, just leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do. Uh, thanks for watching, have a great day.